getting better mentally. Getting better. All of you said, pretty much everyone said mental is part of it, right? So we are getting better mentally. That's part of it. So you don't have to hit golf balls all the time to get better. All right, so Kobe Bryant, we see Mamba mentality, pretty good at basketball, pro athlete. He's pretty cool. Work ethic, athletic, perfected his craft, practiced a lot, basketball, uh, practiced basketball a lot. Uh, he was good. He played. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the one I was looking for, and it's already up there, is he practiced a lot. So that's what he was known for, practicing a lot. So uh, all of you said that right now you're probably not the best player on your team, but you want to be the best player on your team next year, right? So how do you do that? Work. 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 What does that mean, work a lot? So does the best player on your team work a lot? Okay. So let, let me ask you this. If you practice the same amount of time as the best guy on your team, will you be able to catch him? All right, so Kobe was drafted at an early age, right out of high school, okay? He said he knew that the guys in the NBA were better than him, so they practiced one time a day. So you know what Kobe did? He practiced three times a day. He said, I'm not as good as those guys. i got to outwork them. I'm going to practice three times a day. That's the only way you're going to catch up to them. In all honesty, the best player on your team, they're already more advanced than you. They know what to work on better, so they don't have to practice as much as you do, okay? You don't know all the skills that it takes to become a great golfer yet. So the guys that are the best golfers already don't have to practice as much as you. So if you practice the same amount as they do, are you getting, or will you ever catch them? Yes or no? No, definitely not, right? So that's part of it is knowing that you've got to outwork that player. And then once you catch them, do you just keep on practicing the same amount they do, or do you keep on working more? Keep on per pushing more. That's what Kobe continued throughout his career. Some of them might say he was one of the best players of all time. I don't know if you agree with that or not, but he was pretty doggone good, okay? Made a lot of money doing it. So if you really want to get better at golf, that's what it takes, is you got to practice a lot. Coach Jared is one of my first and best students ever, okay? So he practiced more than anyone I ever saw. He went from shooting around mid-80s to low 80s, and within about six weeks, he became a scratch golfer where he was shooting even par. Coach Jared, you want to tell him how you did that? Uh, practiced every day. I kept a journal of everything I was practicing. I kept logs. I had a plan. Um, I worked a ton on short game, mostly mostly all short game for a long time. Um, I was hitting 500 to 1,000 balls a day, and uh, on my stretch, I went to the range, I think, 56 days in a row without missing a day. So that's what it takes. He did that in six months, started shooting even par. So you, what you got to do if you want to catch with that best player, you got to practice a lot, all right? So, um, and then there's, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I'm that nerdy guy that listens to a lot of podcasts. So I listened to podcasts last year about Kobe Bryant. So he was famous for his long practices and how many times he practiced per day. So there was a basketball coach. He was a college coach. He said, Kobe, I'd like to see you practice. I want to see what you do, what the magic is. Okay. So in this basketball coach, all college coaches, they have these camps for, you know, middle school and little kids and high school kids all the time. So he said he went there and watched the practice for two hours, and Kobe was working on footwork stuff that he does with middle school players for two straight hours without a basketball. So after practice, he's like, Kobe, what were you doing? Why, I mean, that's stuff I teach middle schoolers. You're the world's best player. Why are you out here doing stuff that middle schoolers do? What do you think his answer was? Work on the basics. Work on the basics. Why would he do that? What do you think, Charlie? Why would he do that? Okay, Maggie. Okay, Eli. So why would he practice just those simple drills? He probably already knew how to do them, right? Probably. All right, James, what do you think? And you can copy answers. It's okay. Okay, all right. Why do you think, Gabe? Um, yeah, better like, on his footwork. Good, better on his footwork? Mastery. You can master everything. Mastery, I like that answer. Get good at one thing so he can move on to the next. Get good at one thing so he can move on to the next. I like that, okay? Can't do 
it slow if you can't do it fast. Can't do it slow. You or, can't. Sorry, can't do it fast if you can't do it slow. Okay, I like that. Learn, relearn the basics. Okay, he already knew the basics, right? He's still practicing them every day, all right? What do you think, Eli? Uh, I was perfecting the basics, so he can move on to perfecting. But even you know, it was late in his career; he's almost retired. Like he was still working on the basics, right? So he already had them perfected, but he's still doing it. Okay, Bird, why do you think he would work on that? Okay. Yep. All right. Trip. No, no remember. Okay. So I know a lot of times we do a lot of the same stuff, don't we? Okay. So I know it gets boring, it gets, gets tedious. Okay. Uh, all of you know Maverick or should know Maverick. If you're not, you will meet him soon. Um, Maverick's going to, he works hard. So he's he's a very good player. But, you know, we had this conversation the night. You got to enjoy the work and the preparation in order to reach your goals. It can't just be about the goal. Uh, David Duvall was a great player. He's the number one player in the world before Tiger Woods was. He was one of the greatest players in his generation. Okay, he won the British Open. I think that was a great thing, right? So, you know what he said afterwards? He was empty. He didn't. He didn't like it. So it was not about the work for him. It was about the the goal. Once he accomplished his goal, guess what? He had nothing else to look forward to. Okay. So part of golf is not just shooting a certain score. Part of golf is you got to fall in love with the work and the process of getting better. Okay, Jared was in love with it at one time and became a great player. Twenty something years ago, I was in love with it and became a great player as well. Okay, you got to love the work and putting it in and understanding the fundamentals and what makes your golf swing work, what makes your short game work, what makes your mind work. Okay, all we guys put up here on the mind. So this is why we're sitting down and having this conversation. All of you need to work on your mind. I need to work on my mind. I've gotten a lot better. I've thrown clubs, I've broken clubs, I've cussed, I've done everything you can imagine that I'm sure all of you have done on the golf course as well, right? So golf is the most frustrating game. A little white ball sitting still, it should be so easy, right? It's not easy, we all know that, right? So it's up to you to go out there and put in the work and that's what we're getting ready to do now. Questions? Coach, you have anything to add? Good. All right, fantastic. All right, so we're gonna split you up into two groups. We'll take our rookies and our